Hubble's images often look like works of art, but as we discovered in episode 59, the nuts and bolts of astronomers' work with Hubble is often not so visual. Spectra, the graphs of the distribution of colors within an observation, are a powerful tool for studying the universe. But because they don't look visually arresting, it's usually just the scientists who see them. To astronomers, spectra have an elegance that equals Hubble's prettiest pictures. They might not be as attractive as pictures of galaxies or nebulae, but for astronomer Bob Fosbury and conceptual artist Tim Otto Roth, they can still be works of art. Well, I'm, I'm always thinking about ways of explaining what scientists actually do and how they come up with these really rather profound uh, facts about the universe. And uh, the, the tools we use are, of course, very sophisticated and they sometimes produce data which are not very visually appealing, attractive or understandable. And so one of the main tools that astronomers use and have used for, uh, for many, many years is spectroscopy. Uh, the spectra themselves are full of information to somebody like me, an astronomer, uh, but they're not, that information is not obvious to the viewer. Roth and Fosbury have worked to build a work of art about the oldest colours in the universe using Hubble's spectra of distant galaxies. Using a green laser, Roth's installation projects Hubble's spectra of distant galaxies and quasars as an animated light wave. It's been exhibited in a number of cities in Europe and the USA, including its premiere here in Venice in 2010, and more recently on the dome of the Haydn Planetarium here in New York. But why would an artist be interested in projecting spectra? I think people are attracted in a way by, by, by the projection. They see, well, they have anthropomorphic associations. Well, they probably see a brainwave or a heartbeat. And so people stop and get interested um, in that. So, and that's important. And they, they are puzzled and they start to reflect what, what's going on there. As a conceptual artist, Roth is interested in the concept of colour, how it is reproduced and how it is represented. In the past, he has worked with CCDs, the type of chip that detects light in Hubble, and has used individual coloured pixels taken from astronomical observations. This work of art goes a step further. The projection is in just a single shade of green, but the peaks and troughs in the lines represent thousands of colors observed in thousands of the most distant objects ever observed by science. Would you be able to go in the center and like interpret what is actually you could it means you could but at the moment you know you're seeing basically uh, randomly selected 1200 objects so I would wow. not be able to say off by heart which one you know <laughs> which one you're looking but right. by and large you know if you put a couple of astronomers here like myself uh, in a few minutes they will be discussing yes that's uh, H alpha that's hydrogen that's nitrogen I can see the wavelength so yeah, you could wow, do the I'm Every position has a correspondence element. Well, it's important, I think, for the arts to um, reflect um, concepts like color and the image. This is what art has uh, done for, for the last 500 years. And, um, well, we had movements also in the, in, in the 20th century. We have concept art, we have colorful paintings. And in a way, um, 
from the distant past brings this together, um, reflecting uh, the concept of color with um, a very conceptual formal approach. What you see here is the, the heartbeat of the pre-modal universe. And, well, this is very early color information. It's the oldest color information we have in the light. It's the oldest light information we have traveling billions of years across in the universe. And it tells us of the origins um, of the universe. Well, I think the interaction between the art and the science is very interesting. It's something I'm learning about, but I think the art is a way of accessing the profound idea. I mean, the science is a way of exploring the profound idea and you know, making the observations, making the deductions and painting the picture of the way the universe works. I think for me, the art adds a very valid uh, channel from, from this scientific work to present the profound idea in a way that has impact to people. And it, it's, it's a way of doing it uh, where you don't have to explain in all the intricate detail what has actually been done. You can say, hey, what you're seeing was captured by a telescope in orbit from photons which had left galaxies in the very early universe and then had been detected. So you're looking at the very distant universe as it was happening all of those billions of years ago. Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.